I'm Barrington, and I am 13, and um, we're going to do a day in the life of me. Um, so, we're going to be feeding cows, making candles, um, what else here? Doing some school, some parkour, some uh, jumping on the trampoline, because we have a good trampoline set up, and a lot of other sports, so... It's going to be a really interesting day. So we love raising our own uh, grass-fed beef. It tastes the best. Um, and we're, I'm not going to have to feed them in like two months or something because the grass is going to start growing and they can feed off the pasture. Um, and I'm only giving them about half a bale because there's already enough grass that they can start grazing. All right, let's go water them. By the way, um, can you see that view over there? It's like amazing. The sunsets and sunrises are amazing in Central Oregon. And part of the allergies, so my nose is gonna be a little clogged. So I'm allergic to juniper, which is all around here, like in our yard. Like see those two trees? Those two, all of these basically are juniper. And I have to be allergic to them. So it's kind of rough. That should be filling up. This, you have to fill up a whole lot. Um, I should probably clean it out sometime. But yeah, they drink a lot of water. Like a lot, a lot. So you have to check it about every day to feed the cows. Here's one of our forks down there. You see the kind of ladder going up into the tree. Yeah, so sometimes I don't like waiting here for like an hour. So I'm gonna go have my Bible time. So I normally just read a chapter out of normally Proverbs because I like it. And then I see how it applies to my life and how I can like do it in that day. Okay, so I am reading in uh, Proverbs 8, chapter, chapter 8, verse 8. Um, and it says, All the words of my mouth are in righteousness, and there is nothing forward or perverse in them. So, um, what I want to work on today in, in my life is not name calling, uh, because, uh, when siblings are kind of get on my nerves, it's kind of hard not to do that. And then just having truth come out of my mouth, uh, like that can bless other people. And yeah, so that's what I learned today. <laughs> <laughs> too late but that's not that bad yeah there's a reason why this section down there is greener than the other ones <laughs> just my little desk it's gonna kind of get annoyed in this area because the sun shines so bright on that opposing window that it can kind of hurt your eyes sometimes okay so we're up doing cc classical conversation and so it's like a charter school that we go to once a week but we're doing zoom calls now because of COVID-19 uh, yeah so it has a lot of good things and I've learned so much from it uh, we're going to be doing some fallacy detective which is like a fallacy book detecting fallacies in people's speech um, and then we're going to draw some maps so that's what we do with the cartography. And then, of course, math. I'm in eighth grade, and yeah, let's do it. Hours to melt, so we want to put it in early. We're melting 50 pounds. There's 50 pounds of this box. Uh, yeah, and so because we're making 
where C's need the whole like barrel, which we do that sometimes. If we need to make a lot of our Pacific type mm -hmm. of candle. We're gonna get 50 pounds in here, but it takes two times. Unless like you can try to like squish it down like this and then put more in. But that just takes a long time and it doesn't take that long to melt. So after breakfast, I'll come out here again and put some more in the rest of the 50 pounds. Okay, let's go inside. This is my last batch actually. Um, and this is Sun River. What goes, into, what goes into Sun River? Uh, blood orange and Fraser fir. Blood orange and Fraser fir. Yeah. A bunch of beautiful candles. Okay, so I do a little workout sometimes. It's not like that big of a deal, but just a couple pull-ups, push-ups, planks, sometimes jump squats, you know. All right. Let's start with some pull-ups and chin-ups. Two minute plank, two times a day. So I don't know how long this time this gets to count. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do some jump squats. This is the hardest um, section of my workout. My legs always feel off these. So I do 50 jump squats in a row high they can jump but for that got to get the curls get some feeling pumped all right here we go okay. Okay, so we're gonna practice some basketball now and I'm going to just practice some uh, ball handling because we don't have a hoop and so I'm just doing some drills from just walking back and forth doing some drills all right and why I'm practicing is because um, we have this family camp and I we play basketball for like three days and you know you want to be good when you get there <laughs> there's a lot of people a lot of friends, cousins. So yeah, that's why I practice and because I want to hang with my older siblings because they're pretty good. <laughs> kind of it you know just practice some of those drills yeah so now we go to breakfast Alright, circle up. Who are we missing? Caroline and Baylor. Caroline and Baylor. Push up. Push up. Look at the minutes. Chloe. 
No. Push-ups. Oh. Where was the Conrad? Cut him out. I don't know. How many are you supposed to do? 20? 10. 10. 10. 10. How would you do? 10. Oh, there's you. There you go. You're up and at him. All right. You did 10 on me. Where were you? Conrad, where were you? I was up doing school. Oh. Doing noble deeds. <laughs>
So this is our trampoline setup. We have this one here, really old, really bad, has a big rip in it. And we have this one. This one's our Olympic trampoline. And you can get really high, as you can see, it's corny. And then we have a new trampoline over there that we got maybe a month ago. And that one, it doesn't have too much bounce, but it's good for going to the Olympic to that one. All right, so I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> Our awesome trampoline thing, like in between candles, just bounce and have a lot of fun here. So now that we have uh, the candles have cooled during our jump break, we are going to pour them into here. Follow me. These 16 ounce jars. So we've been doing 16 ounce today. So we're gonna need about six of these. Gonna pour until it comes up, 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 up. Right there. There you go. Go to the next. And these 16 ounce are really nice because they take up a lot of wax, you know. And for us that don't want to be out here all day, this is the way to go. Okay. Hey now. <laughs> okay. Now, before these aren't as emergency as getting this cleaned out. You do not want this to harden or it is a pain in the neck. So you're gonna use this. Maybe you might want back up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're gonna use paper towels. Bags will not do anything nor will water. So just dry paper towels. Scrub that and then rub the alcohol is what gets the wax off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I normally use gloves because it gives me Alzheimer's. It gives you Alzheimer's if you use it. It hasn't given me Alzheimer's yet. I normally use gloves if I'm cleaning a lot of them. But since this, it's not getting in my hands because I'm using the paper towel. So, yeah. Mama was kind of concerned there for a little bit. Yeah. And then, come over here. We write down what the scent is. In this case, it's fresh lemon. Okay, so as you can see, these are starting to get white. See? So these are the ones that we poured before. You can see it clouding up. And then these are the ones that we poured just a little bit ago. And see these eight ounce? They cloud up a whole lot more. But it's cool to see the transformation of them. You know? Really cool. And then we have Bentley over here. He is labeling like a monster. All of these are labeled. That is very hard to do. Like labeling. Yeah, let's not go into labeling. It is the worst job in the candle barn by far. Um, I take that back. Bentley really likes it and so he thinks it's a great job, right? Uh, now I'm practicing volleyball since we play a lot of volleyball at our house. And I've been practicing setting with some of the younger kids. And it's been, so I'll show you how to do, how, what I do. I do 300 sets um, going like this. It's just getting touches on the ball and it helps with your wrist okay. movement. <laughs> play spike ball by yourself you know just bounces back well we're gonna play doubles but we have no one to film we're gonna play doubles but we don't have anybody to film so Singles. Two people. Alrighty. 
Here we go. Okay. He basically hits it to me, we each have two hits. So, Barrington, uh, you made a little lunch. The burger. What, yes. What's on the burger? Barbecue sauce, pickles, cheese, patty, Emphasis buns. on the barbecue sauce. And a little yeah. bit of cheddar. Look at that, baby. And you grilled it on the barbecue yourself? Um, yeah. With a little bit of Baylor's help. A little bit of Baylor's. He started it, so. Started the best barbecue. is when you put feta. Oh, fade on the bird, fat on the bird. Ever tried peanut butter? Mom's been over here okay. helping me out initially. Working, working, working. Working with Chad. Working with me. All right. What do you got going? I am making a new life steak. Where is it? Right here. Power packed. 30 amino acids. I don't know how I know that, but I do. Yeah. You added eight more than that are in there, but that's okay. It has all 22 amino acids. Okay, whatever. Plus right. eight that are unknown to most mankind, but hey, oh, Bear man. knows where they are. Right on. The blendy. I eat this because I have allergies, and it helps with allergies. And then it's just a good, like, it's yummy. <laughs> It'll make you lick your hair. Just a little bit. Um, and it's good for like, you know, a meal replacement. Something like that. On top of your burger? Yeah, definitely. Okay, all right. So I said we were going to do some um, parkour in this video. So I'm going to show you some of the things I've learned over the years. Uh, mostly my older brother, Baylor, taught me. So now it's almost getting time for dinner and I'm going to go in the jacuzzi. All right, see you there. All right, so it's always a tradition for us to go into the pond over there. Um, it's gonna be pretty cold right now because there's still snow on the mountain and stuff. So the canal's really cold. Um, uh, so yeah, it's always been like a tradition and it's really good for your muscles to go cold, hot, cold, hot. Okay, so we're gonna unbuckle this here. It's really a blessing having a jacuzzi in your backyard. It's just amazing. Ooh, that is really cold. Oh, look, Bentley's coming in. <sighs> All right, so that'll be really cool. Oh, feels really good once you're down to your shoulders. Okay, now dunk. Coolest right when you get out. This is at probably 104. It's really good for your muscles and I really like this. Okay, I just got out of the jacuzzi. I'm going to get in the shower. All right, that's it. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna put on some dry clothes and then go eat dinner. Cause my family's eating dinner. All right, why do I say all right? Okay, got my clothes on and I am going to dinner. Let's see what we got. It's new every day and you just kind of like Okay. This is Mediterranean, I think. This looks good. Pineapple. All right. Let's enjoy this. Okay, so um, normally in the evenings we play a little spike ball, and then this evening the um, two younger girls did a show, but it was a little dark outside to see that. And now we are going to do a um, Bible time, family Bible time. So I will show you some of that. <laughs> All right, kind of messed up here, but you know we're getting it. 
Family Bible time. It has a way of washing us clean and just refreshing us in a way that only your living word can. So we just rejoice right now and uh, enjoy this time in your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I like getting my pro vitality. Come on. That's kind of close. This helps keep um immune system high, especially in this time of COVID. We need these supplements, really good supplements, and I take them every night before I go to bed. Okay, that, oh. brush my teeth. It's all there, it's all there. Shut your mouth. Start over. And then I'll brush my teeth. Get in bed. Be ready to wake up at 6 the next morning. Bye.